Hey YouTube, so um, <clears throat> first video for the channel, thought a good idea would be to do a uh, pack opening at the sneak peek, so I recorded that um, last night, went to the midnight sneak peek, managed to get some pretty good cards, so um, I'll chuck it on, and uh, afterwards we'll do a little bit of a deck profile, because I actually ended up winning the sneak peek, so I'll give you quick tips on um, some of the good cards, and what to play and what not to play. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. The was living up the, um, the burner oh, card, the room, 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 who has the penguin deck? I feel like I'm Like, I was worried I might pull up. Oh, yeah, that's good. I need that. Yeah. Gigabytes. One trillion gigabytes. <laughs> Uh, the best one. I might the rest of the night. I haven't seen it. Why do you expect me to get anything? Uh, 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 what is that? What? What is this? Ugly. Explosive. Fuck you. Ugly. Tell me to open yours. Um, I'll go around and see what else. This is Scotty. What did we get? I never boy. Trash. Yeah. What did you get? Nothing. I don't know. You haven't looked. No, he's still opening them. No, I just, I just don't know if I want anything good. I pull a bad egg biscuit. Oh, look at this guy. Secret rare. Bad boy. Secret rare. Prize card. Oh wait, who got that? Me. You did. Yeah. I'll buy it. No, you. Burning abyss. Let's film the film. Really? Filming the film. What's he got? What's he got? Bad quality. Oh. Look, I'm pretty sure quality. that's worth your uh, assembler. Yeah, probs. Look at that face. Trade for trade. He's high as fuck, man. Oh my god. No. Oh, you want to do on mine too? Yeah. Make sure you keep yours separate. Do it on mine. Oh, what do we got? It's a common. Bunch of super rares. Would you be happy? Oh, I got an L, sh the L Shadow one. Oh, it's the Jinzo card too. Yes. And the cool oh, card. One of the new cool cards. Yeah. Very nice. And I pull. Play. Go on. I got this. It's the cutest fucking dragon. Go. Show me a bit. Go. Nice. Oh, I'm burning abyss. Another gigabyte. Gigabyte. At least you got an XYZ mm. level 4. Yeah. You can do stuff. What's that one? Oh, it's the good and evil. I haven't actually seen it. Oh, it's the artwork, yeah. A That's really cool. O-M-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-
Uh, I'm gonna collect that. You're gonna collect I'm the shit. I'm probably gonna collect it. Yeah. You can borrow it if you want. I'm, I'm not gonna use it. Yeah, no one really plays it. Turtle. Yeah, how many do I have? One, two, please tell me I've got three. Three. No! I'm gonna pack off this one. Put it again, put it there. Oh, only the one, let's see, that's it. You too, you too. Okay, so on to the deck profile. Just go through a couple of little combos that um, some of us figured out. Um, I ended up, I think I pulled pretty well um, from the commons that I needed. Um, <clears throat> all right, so we'll go for the first one, which is the most obvious one. Um, do, 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 guys. Um, basically, this one here, um, when you normal summon it, you can special summon one doo doo monster from your um, hand in face up attack position or face down defense position. Um, and this guy here um, is 3000 defense. And um, when he's flipped summoned, um, he goes up to 3 5 attack. Um, and if that has to be flipped summoned, if he's flipped face up, um, he doesn't get the attack boost, but he does destroy two face up monsters on the field of your opponents. Um, so that was a little combo. Everyone was pretty much playing this, but it was a bit temperamental because you had to have you had to draw into the swordsman and the witch. Um, there wasn't really any way to search them; it was just luck of the draw. Um, this combo was probably one of my favourite, especially opening turn. Like generally, I always drew into a toy knight for some reason. Um, <clears throat> so you have your toy knights, which if your opponent controls more monsters than you, then you can special summon it from your hand. So if you go second, which is always a good option um, in sneak peek, because you can attack and you get six cards. Um, you special summon one of the Toy Knights, um, and then you can either use this guy to uh, contribute summon him, um, his 2k attack, um, and when he's normal summoned, you can special summon um, this guy from your deck, um, and he can boost attacks um, up a thousand, so you can boost his own, or you can boost um, this guy's up to 3000. Um, <clears throat> or you can special summon that, normal summon this, and then you can boost his own attack up to 2,000 to get over pretty much anything that they set, unless it's one of the 2,000 um, defense monsters that were in the pack. I didn't, I didn't get any of those, unfortunately, but you want attack over defense anyway. Um, so th that was a really good combo, especially if you opened up with the Toy Knight, because you can still have a bit of defense and just normal summon this, because when this card is normal summoned, um, it returns to your hand in the end phase. Um, as well as if you have this on field, this in your hand, um, you can honest it and it gains a thousand attack, sort of thing. So that was a really good combo. If you do get these cards, Toy Knight goes really well with them. Um, it's a really good, just set up as a, a little defense, um, just in case. Um, and this is probably the whole reason that I won. Um, I drew, or I pulled quite a few um, of the Perform Pal cards. I drew two of their traps, the one that um, puts everything in defense mode and any perform power destroyed or that um, leaves the field goes to your hand, I think it is. Um, this card is a searcher. Um, when your opponent declares a direct attack, um, negate the attack and then you can add two perform power cards up to, uh, that has equal or less defense to the attack. Um, so that basically lets you search to your pendulum cards. Um, this guy is really good just to have, if you even if you only get this, just put it in because you can boost all your monsters up. Or you can boost one monster per turn up by 300 until the end phase, which is really, really handy. <clears throat> um, and no one, there's no spell or trap destruction in this set, as far as I know. So, you know, it's, it's going to stay there even if you just put it out there first term. Lots of plays with these guys. Um, small one is um, normal summoning this guy, or girl. Uh, she's a spellcaster. And then you can special summon this from your hand. Um, so you got a 1500 free um, attack. And then if you have the last minute um, cancel, uh, cancel, you can actually, <clears throat> um, when they go to attack your 100 attack spellcaster, you can activate this, puts it in defense mode, and if it gets destroyed, just goes back to your hand anyway. Um, apart from that, she's um, subpar because you can't really use the pendulum scale 4. Um, but it's basically a deck filler, and you can add, add it with Perform Power Core if there's nothing else. 
because um, you have to add two, I'm pretty sure. Um, he is 1800 defense, so it's just a little bit of a defense. Um, this is really good when you pendulum summon, um, because you can start doing uh, piercing damage with it. And this guy, when he's normal summoned, you can special summon a perform power card from your hand, which is also really handy. <clears throat> so yeah, the perform power engine is a lot more reliable than um, the other engines in it, like the Infernoids. Um, a lot of people were playing that because I pulled uh, six or seven cards from them, but by the time they had enough cards to start banishing from their hand, um, I had set up enough, or I would have enough perform pals in my in my hand to pendulum summon, um, and then I had a boss monster which was um, Great Manju Gazette, or legendary Great, legendary Manju Gazette, which you basically pendulum summon all your monsters, and then you can special summon it by tributing all monsters you control, and then it gains attack equal to. Um, what you have. So even if you have just these two in hand, you can normal summon, special summon, and then tribute both of them, and it gains. It's it's on three two straight away. First turn you can do that. It's quite easy. Um, but yeah. So and then as well as when you have this guy on field, and you can you know get these two guys out again. Nine. You can put put one up nine hundred attack, which can get over most things. Um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> this guy was just a little bit of a beta 1900, gets destroyed in the end phase because um, you have to reveal a rock, which um, there were, as far as I know, I actually pulled another one of these as there isn't one, but I just basically a space filler 1900 was pretty nice. Okay, these two were probably the best um, trap cards in um, in the set. Um, if you do get these, you, you, you definitely should run them. Um, Wall of Disruption, which um, is a permanent attack loss. Um, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, all attack position monsters your opponent control lose 800 attack for each monster they control. So if they have a setup board, you can basically reduce all of their attacks to zero, and they've got a bunch of zero attack nothings. And um, this can basically just win you a game, because uh, especially if they've attacked with one already and they can't, um, <clears throat> they can't stop the attack, or it doesn't get destroyed if they're attacking defense position monster. You've just got a zero attack to attack into. Um, and this card was the best card in the set for the sneak peek. Um, if your life points um, is 4,000 or less when an attack is declared involving a monster you control and an opponent's monster, pay half your life points, then target one face-up monster you control. It gains attack equal to the def deficit between your current life points and 4,000. You only activate once per turn. Um, this one, this wins your games because if your life points are lower, you can just win by them attacking into your monsters without realizing. Um, guy used it on me, uh, put me down to 300 life points. I drew this, um, set it, and I had the two donkeys in hand, so I special a normal one, special the other, as like a you know a bait to, um, you know I'm trying to defend myself, but I've only got 300 life points, and so I'm going to lose. Um, he attacked, I activated this, I went down to 150 life points, and he gained 3,000 over 3,000. Um, attack. He was only on 1550 life points, and that just he. I just won from that. So yeah, if you get multiple ones of these, play them because they're really, really good, and you can just win a game by setting it and having a monster in attack position. Um, so yeah, um, <clears throat> don't play Infernoids unless that's all you have. If you get enough Perform Pals, play them. Always play this card because um, the attack boost is really, really relevant. Um, and these, this guy here as well, because just having a normal summon 2000 is really, really handy, as well as it gets returned to your hand, so you've always got it if you need it. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much um, how I won those combos. Um, great Legendary Great Manju Gazette is the boss monster, is what you need. Um, so also play multiple of them if you get them. Thank you.